Hi, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to create cake toppers. Now this has been one of the most requested videos I've had in a long time. I think the first request came in months and months ago from somebody on Instagram and I said that I would do it and add it to my to-do list. But obviously I have so many requests for videos and I've been so busy this year so far that I've just not had time to get round to do it. Obviously, I'm just going to show you how I would do it using a particular font today, but you can try it with any font, with any word, with any greeting, whatever you choose. I think the secret to the cake toppers is that the letters, the individual letters, need to be welded together. And if it's more than one word, the words need to be welded together to keep it all in one place. Then you can cut it and attach it to like kebab sticks or cake skewers, that kind of thing. But I'm just going to show you the basic how to put the word together. So I'm going to use Happy Birthday and I'm going to use a font called Olivia. And the font is available for free personal use from defont.com. So I'm just going to come to defont.com and you can see it's here. And in this search box, I'm going to type Olivia and just hit search. Now I've already got it downloaded and installed on my computer, but just in case you haven't, I'm going to, this is, I'm just going to show you how to find it. So it's this first one here. It says here it's free for personal use and that's where you download it. Then you'll just download and save it to your computer and install it as you would any other font on your computer. So I'm just going to click on it and it shows you all the letters here. Now what you can do if you type in a particular word or greeting or name, you can type your words in here. And then if you come to size and put it on large, it just makes it easy to see and submit. It will show you how your words will look. And if you know that's the type of thing you're looking for, then you know that this font is for you. So just go ahead and download it, as I said, and install it but I've already got it. So I'm in Scan and Cut Canvas. I'm on a new blank page. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is open my brother Scan and Cut Type Converter. I'm going to type Happy Birthday and then I'm going to scroll down and find the Olivia font. And I'm going to say Save. And I'm just going to put it onto my desktop and then bring it into Scan and Cut Canvas. So I can close the converter now. I can come to the SVG icon and I can now find that Scan and Cut FCM cutting file I've just put on my desktop. And say choose. Once it appears here, say OK and it will put it on top of my page. Now these will be individual letters when you click on them. So the first thing I'm going to do is just select an imaginary box around the word birthday. And I'm just going to work on the word happy for now. So I'm just going to zoom in so that you can see it a little bit better. So all these are separate letters. Now as with anything that you use with the font converter, if you're going to weld it, you need to make sure that the middles of the letters are punched out. So if I just go to the properties box and fill it with colour, you'll see that the definition is lost on these sections. So these are the bits that you know that you've got to punch out in order for it to weld properly in a few minutes. So I've, I've clicked on this black space here. And I'm going to right click and hit ungroup. Now, with, without doing anything else, I'm going to go to edit and subtract. And that's punched that section out of there now. Now I'm going to do the same with each of the letters. So I'm going to select the A, right click and hit ungroup. And without doing anything else, I'm going to go edit, subtract. And then I'm going to move along and do the next one. So I've selected the P, ungroup, edit, subtract. Now, if when you're doing this, it disappears, 
it means that the middle bit that you're trying to punch out is underneath the main body of the letter. So all that you need to do is select the letter and click, right click and send it to back. Um, this one seems to be cooperating at the moment. So again, I've selected the P, right click, ungroup, edit, subtract. And that's done that. So now I'll just move down to the word birthday and I'll do the same. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to come to the properties box. I'm going to fill it with a color just to make it easier for me to see the bits I need to punch out. So now I'm just going to select on the B here and work my way through and do exactly the same. Okay, so that's all done now. So hopefully when I come to weld these together, it will weld properly. Now, obviously, it might seem a little bit of a faff having to do this initially, but once you've done it, you can then save this word as a project just in its own right before you do anything else with it. And then you've got that for another time if you want to use it. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring the two letters closer together and I'm going to zoom in so that hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Now I'm just going to start with the first letter so I'm going to select the A and just using the directional arrows on my keyboard I'm just going to use the left arrow and I'm just going to move this over until it touches this part of the H. Then I'm going to do the same with the P. Select the P, use the arrow on my keyboard until that now touches the A here. And I just want them all to overlap slightly so that I can weld them all together. And then I'm going to do the same with the birthday, but I'm just going to select the letters initially and then work out where I want to place it. So I'm just going to group it for a minute. So do I want the birthday offsetting? Do I want, you know, the B over to the left? If I put it directly up here, it's going to end up like a, a mess because you've got all these, you know, curls of the Ys. So you just have to play about and look how you want it to, you know, what you want the initial or what you want the finished item to look, look like. Now I'm quite happy with the B that it overlaps this curl of the P. And these are overlapping here at the moment, but I need to scoot all the letters over. So I'm going to select the birthday, right click and ungroup, and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to select the I, use the arrows on my keyboard and just move it over until it overlaps. So I'm going to select it all and go edit weld. Now it's given me an error message saying part of a line overlaps with other lines slightly moves. So it obviously doesn't like something that I've done. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to jiggle them around a little bit more. I think it might be this bit here. So I'm just going to keep moving them. And... Try again, so edit, weld. Okay, now this time it's done it and it moves as one. Now the only thing is we've got the dot over the eye. Now if you want to weld that on top of here, you can do. Or you can leave it out altogether. I think I'd be inclined to just delete it. You know, because you can clearly see what the word says, happy birthday. So that is now your welded decoration. Now, obviously, depending on how big you're going to cut it, this is only two, just under two and a quarter high by two and a half wide. I'm just going to go back and fit to page. 
you need to drag it out and make it bigger for the size of your cake topper. What you might want to do is get it roughly to the size that you think you're going to need and if you think that the sections might be too thin you this is a this is another option so you can go edit offset create an outward offset of about 0 0.08 untick the bit that says create an offset line only around outer edge because we don't want it just around the outer edge or you might do you might want to create a matting layer that you can stick it on, but I'll just show you a couple of different options. So I've unticked that and I'm going to say OK. And now I'm going to drag this out of the way. That's my original that I've just resized. This is the offset. Now again, I'm going to go ungroup and I'm going to go edit, subtract, and that's brought all the definition back. And now that's thicker. It might be too thick. You might want to try 0 0.04, or you might be happy to cut it like this. It's entirely up to you. You may want to, let's just fill this with a different color. You may want to cut it like that, and then cut this thinner and place it on top. like so. What I would do then, I would select it all and group it. I would hit the D key on my keyboard to create a duplicate and then with the duplicate I would go edit, flip horizontally and then you can cut the four sections and you can stick them back to back. Now you only need to flip your duplicate if you're using a one-sided colour card. So let's just say you're cutting this in red. If your card is red on the front and white on the back, to make your duplicate you'd need to flip it so that when you cut this, this would cut backwards on your red card, but when you turn it over, it would be the right way round, and then you'd see the colour on from both sides, from front to back. If where you're putting your cake decoration, you're not bothered about seeing the back of it, then you don't need to flip it. But I would definitely cut it twice and stick it together with the skewers in the middle. So if you were doing it like this, I would cut your red and your black and your red and your black and then in between the two red sections, I would put your skewers. So I'd probably put one here because you've got quite a, an area here where you can glue something and maybe something here. And then you'd have your two skewers dangling down here and here, which would then stand in your cake, if that makes sense. I'll just get rid of this one for now and I'll ungroup this. So, another alternative might be that you select this, go Edit, Offset, Outward. We'll use the same one, 0 0.08, and this time we'll say, yes, we want to create an offset line around the outer edge only, and we'll say OK. And now... When we take the colour out of this, you'll see that this is all just a solid. It's just gone round the out, outside now. So again, I'll fill it with red just so you can see how it's going to look. And then again, bring this to the front and put your word on top. And that gives you, you know, more of a gluing area for your skewers. But it's entirely up to you how you want it to look. You could literally just cut it like this in card and try and find somewhere to put your skewers on before you stick it back to back with your second piece. 
So it's simple really, and you can do this with one word, you can do it with you know multiple words, you could add shapes in. I mean, if you enter the basic shapes, you could have you could add a heart in and weld that to your letters. You know, there's a heart. You know, you could put that in and have that touching two sections so it, it will weld. There's there's lots of, um, you know, there are lots of things you can do, but the, the principles, I think, for making the cake toppers are that your individual letters have to be welded together. Otherwise, you'll just end up with bits and that's not what you want. You want something that's all attached that you can then attach to, as I say, cake skewers or kebab sticks or however you put them into your cake. Um, so I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so. Don't forget you can also follow me on Instagram and Patreon. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.